All right, from Bentonville and beyond, Walmart is now creating 150 new U.S. stores and redesigning hundreds more over the course of the next five years. Joining us now is Walmart U.S. CEO and President John Ferner. John, it's great to have you on the program. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Let me just ask you this. Investment, of course, to streamline stores and expand is always a great thing, especially for a company like Walmart. But consumers are living in a still inflationary environment. Some of that inflation has been sticky and they are more price sensitive than ever. So I have to ask, you know, how you think about this investment and will it impact pricing down the chain to the end consumer at all? Well, it's a great it's a great question, and and we know that consumers all over the country are in a different place uh, depending on their situation. But what we do know is over the last few years, customers more and more are looking for flexibility, and we've become really what I would say is an omni-channel retailer. And what that means is our stores play a pivotal role in being able to serve customers in the store at the curb or in their home. So the stores that we're, we're designing and looking forward to having more of, and you talked about the number just a few minutes ago, will be stores that'll be much more capable and equipped to be able to serve customers any way that they wanna be served. So the, the effect on pricing we think is actually gonna be a positive thing over time. Our, our purpose is to save people money so they can live better. And mm -hmm. these stores being close to consumers play a really big role in delivering the products that they want each and every day. How are you thinking about some of the store changes, um, thinking and keeping about theft in mind as well that has been such a problem? Well, we want the, the store, first of all, to be really friendly for customers all over. I mean, look, our goal is never to have to secure merchandise. We want things to be open. And we also know that customers are increasingly shifting um, in addition to be able to shop in store to pick up at the curb and at home. So these stores really play a flexible role all across the country. Uh, but of course, we'll consider um, a lot of uh, cons conditions and situations as we manage our business going forward. John, we talked yesterday about the fact that a superstore manager now at Walmart can earn over $400,000 a year. That's stock, that's bonus for good performance. I used to work in the Tire and Lube Express way back in the day. I was not a very good employee. I know it's hard to manage those stores because you had to manage people like me. But what caught my attention is that these jobs are not just for college graduates. You can be somebody who's never gone to college and worked your way up the chain to almost half million dollar payday. Are you trying to lean into those opportunities for non-college graduates as you think about our labor force in the coming years? Well, first, thanks for your service to the co to the company. I didn't know about you, so that's great to hear. Um, about, but about 75% of our managers started as hourly associates, including me. I started at a garden center just across the street in, in what we call Store 100 here in Bentonville over 30 years ago. But about 75% of our associates uh, or our managers start as associates. So this is an environment where great performance definitely provides opportunity and people can excel in their career. And on the stock ownership, look, stock ownership has been a part of our company, our culture for a long time. This is a program that was started by our founder, Sam Walton, and it gives associates at all levels, even from their first day, which I started my first day, to be able to buy stock. And up to $1,800 a year will match up to about 15% of that. So it's a great opportunity for associates to be owners, to be owners of the company mm -hmm. and, and participate and the upside. So it's a really important part of the program. And with store managers, we're constantly asking our store managers to act like owners and to think like owners. And they, they really do own their business. In many cases, these stores are the center of communities. They're large businesses. Right. So the ability for us to be able to make them owners, we're really excited about. Well, John, you were clearly a better associate than I was. It's great <laughs> to hear about what's happening at Walmart. You're at the center of a lot in this uh, fraught economy, and we appreciate your perspective today. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.